night gang merry christmas to you <laughs> all gemini placements take what resonates leave the rest take it how it resonates with you and your situation okay personal readings are in the description box you guys i don't know how many spots i have open uh but it might not be anything open until after the new year we'll see all right y'all let's see what's going on with you today quick message for today i hope you guys enjoy y'all's holiday and all that good stuff hit those likes hit those likes hit those likes y'all hit that subscribe okay we'll get a quick message for today hopefully it's quick it's already starting off slow okay so we have well all right so this came out yesterday um in the collective read so check out the collective read that i posted yesterday you guys so we have the phoenix here okay new phase and rekindle renew and growth changed mind rising from the ashes then we have not enough i always talk about how i don't really like the imagery on this card because it doesn't really match anything um this one is lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear and frustrations. Then we have paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other and honeymoon phase. And then we have separation here on the bottom, which is sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, an uncertain future. Okay, so this makes sense already. This is kind of similar to the uh, yesterday's collective read. Um, I feel like you have somebody here that tends to self-sabotage um gemini's or it's you you you're the self-sabotager let's see what's going on <laughs> with you today a lot of you may hear from people today like you may hear from um uh you know get merry christmas or happy holidays or whatever the case may be from your uh person or from different people gemini so we have the six of swords here which is moving to calmer waters someone does want to move to calmer waters with you uh gemini they want to be in a better space with you i feel like um seeing the six of wands here the two of wands and the three of pentacles someone may again this could be about somebody's ego um or someone learning how to um cooperate with you more uh gemini's work with you a little bit or you may need to do this, uh, Gemini's. So we have the Six of Cups, the Emperor, love to see it, um, and the Eight of Swords, okay? And then I'm also seeing the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords here on the bottom. So I feel like, first of all, there's a huge attraction to you, um, Gemini's. You could also just be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn, uh aries again fire sign i feel like someone definitely does miss you someone especially with this here it's like someone doesn't know how to like get over you or get over the situation um gemini's and, and it makes sense that this would say that you know that this the future is uncertain with this person because they don't really know where they stand uh, Gemini, there could be some insecurities and things like that um, with the connection right now, especially if, you know, you two aren't talking or you aren't speaking. But I do feel like, though, that there will be um, some type of communication, Gemini. I feel like this person does want to work things out with you. They, they do want to uh, fix things. They may miss you as well. Uh, with the Six of Cups here under the... Um, under the uh not enough card i feel like that that could be a past energy or it's something from their childhood that they're needing to stem from um or that they need to heal that they, they may need to heal something from their childhood um gemini's so take that high resonates or something from their past or this is a past energy for them Mm-hmm. Eight of Wands. Wow. The judgment here on the bottom. Wow. 
Wow. So, Geminis, yeah, somebody is coming for you. Someone does want to reach out, talk to you. I'm seeing the full card. Could be an Aries again. Uh, also, Scorpio, seeing the Ten of Cups as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The sun. Mm-hmm. That now the sun can, can be about pride and ego as well. <laughs> Gemini's. I'm seeing the three of wands here. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing the ace of wands here with the nine of swords here on the bottom. So I do feel like someone has been in a little bit of stress, uh, Gemini's, some anxiety. There may be something from their past that could be going on. This is heavy to do with something from their childhood, um, Gemini's. So, yeah, someone is definitely, like, stressed out. Uh, but they, I feel like someone is going to get out of the energy. Someone's going to get out of this energy of feeling, like, helpless and hopeless and um, everything else, uh, Gemini's. It's like someone's trying to find that, trying to find that spark, trying to find that way to rekindle this or work this out. Excuse me, um... Gemini's now it could be someone for some of you wanting to take things to the next level as well especially with the Emperor and the three of wands so you may start talking about commitment you may start talking about you know whatever the next stage in y'all's relationship is um, they may also like want to travel or take you somewhere as well uh, Gemini's so take that how it resonates with you another six six of Pentacles uh Gemini's with the uh five of cups here on the bottom so it makes sense seeing all these sixes because sixes are about balance they're about harmony they're about love they're about compromise so I feel like someone is wanting to like compromise um which I feel like is a little bit out of this person's element like this person is kind of used to having their way um they may be used to uh operating from their pride operating from their ego um, and things like that. Like I said, this could be something that literally stand from childhood, uh, Gemini's. And I do feel like someone is learning how to be more authentic, more, um, more themselves, uh, Gemini's. And this could be you as well, like kind of tapping into this childhood energy, this childlike energy <laughs> for a lot of you. And like I said, um, I like the sun here under the lacking confidence um, the ego and fear, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because I feel like you may be dealing with someone that is learning how to be themselves, uh, Gemini's, and learning how to show up as their true selves um, and not some type of fascade of, or who they think they should be. Or protecting themselves. Wow. The wheel of fortune. Wow. 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 The devil on the bottom. Wow. Let me say this, Gemini's. I feel like, first of all, you could be dealing with a Sag, a uh, Pisces, a Capricorn, uh, with the devil here on the bottom, a Leo. I feel like heavy fire. So certainly a fire sign for some of you, a fire moon um, or a Capricorn. So I feel like with this, Gemini's, some of you are a lesson for this person. Like, I, I don't want to say your karma. Um, the devil and the will of fortune definitely gives like karmic vibes. But again, karma is not bad. Karma is not always bad. Karma can go either way. Um, and good and bad is subjective. Okay. But I feel like you're definitely a lesson for this person. And I kind of touched on this a little bit in the last few readings. I touched on it heavily in the collective reading. Check out the collective reading, you guys. Um, you're definitely a lesson to this person because this person has... Um, they're very set in their ways and they may have been doing the same thing the same way their entire lives, uh, Gemini's. They've always navigated in the same way and something about you is changing them. Um, and I feel like it's like your actions to them is changing this person, um, for the better. Okay. So take that how it resonates with you, but Again, it could be some karma that this person could have gotten or could be getting, but I feel like you are this person's karma in some way. You're also a, a lesson for them in some way. You're here to teach this person something and vice versa. You're here to learn from each other. Um, 
Gemini's. I feel like there's definitely going to be uh, <clears throat> the Hermit card, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, with this energy, I feel like this, this person wants to be alone with you, uh, Gemini. So they may ask to like take you somewhere or go somewhere or, you know, let's be alone together. Let's let's um, let's go somewhere quiet or, or again, they may offer to travel with you or take you somewhere. Um, Gemini, as far as like out of town. So take that how it really is. Because I kind of get that with the Three of Wands as well. Like this person wanting to take you somewhere. But this person could have also, again, done some soul searching. Um, some, uh, how can I put it? Learning how to check their ego, uh, Gemini's. They could also be in this stage of kind of weighing out. Or they're, they may have surpassed this. Weighing out what's more important to them, Gemini's, is, is their ego more important or is it you? It's like, do I want to keep my holding on to my pride and my ego or whatever? Or do I want to put that aside and um, have my connection, have, have a healthy connection, uh, Gemini? So I feel like this could have what have could have been what was going on with this person, uh, Gemini's, especially if you haven't heard from them in a little bit, um, or they started acting funny or whatever. I feel like they kind of go back and forth with each other, page of pen with each other. They kind of going back and forth with themselves. Uh, I hope you're not dealing with someone that is like bipolar or something. <laughs> um, yeah, like they have two voices in their head, but most people do. Y'all know how in the TV shows they have like the devil sitting on one shoulder and the angel uh, sitting on the other. But it's both both of them are them. So I feel like that is what could have been going on. Could have been the same for you too, Gemini. So that's definitely Gemini energy. So um, yeah, Gemini. I feel like someone had to, had to like have some alone time to kind of see what they wanted. And like I said in yesterday's reading, you could you did good as far as if you left this person alone. Okay, if you, you just kind of let this person kind of deal with their shit. I feel like that was um, really the best thing you could have done for them, uh, Gemini's. So this just flipped over into my hand. I don't even know how or why. Uh, <laughs> somebody loves you, Gemini. I'm going to pull another one, but I'm just going to put this over here to the side. Somebody loves you. Mm-hmm. I feel like somebody's love overshadows is is kind of overshadowing their pride and ego. And I feel like someone is learning how to, like I said, be themselves more, open up, um, not being so closed off, uh, Gemini's. And again, this could be you as well. Like you could be like this. You could be um, the Eight of Swords again, you guys. The Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords flips over. Yeah. Someone doesn't want to be single, even though they may have told you this. They, this person may also have some financial stuff going on, too, uh, Gemini. Take that how it resonates with you. Could be with children, <coughs> Gemini's. Yeah, so I feel like, Gemini's, you definitely have someone here that, number one, doesn't want to be single, despite what they have told you. They may have told you that they wanted that, too. Uh, Gemini's. I feel like this person may have said something that um, that makes sense too with the self sabotage. This person may have said something to you that um, either you took the wrong way or they didn't want to say or they didn't mean to say. Um, Gemini's. Like I said, I get that this person may have told you that they <coughs> want to be single. Now I'm getting choked up. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Goodness. Yeah, this person didn't mean something that they told you. You're nice. And, I feel, and now I feel like they're trying to find a way to put it. Because they're going to have to admit that they're wrong. They're going to have to say, um, I said this out of fear. I said this out of my pride and ego. I didn't mean that <coughs> type of uh, energy. Because I'm just getting all the way choked up now. All right, so let's see what's happening. Oh, I am gonna pull some letters. You guys have been emailing me about that, so I will I will pull the letters. You guys, I'm sorry for everything. I'm telling you, Gemini's. They may be sorry for something that they said as well. Cause like I said, this person just they sometimes they don't think they just act or they they don't think they just speak. 
And a lot of times when you have a person like that, they don't think about the long-term effects that it has uh, when they do that because there's consequences for that. Um, so I feel like someone is, is learning how to control that as well, uh, Gemini. As I told you, what did I tell you? Let's go on a date. I told you this person wants to be alone with you. They want to take you somewhere. They want to do something. I wish I could tell you how I really feel. Yeah, they do have a hard time with that. They struggle with that. So like I said, it comes out differently. When they try to tell you how they feel, it comes out um, through the, the filter of their ego <laughs> and their pride and you know all this other stuff. Or they want reassurance from you, but they don't say that. They don't say they want reassurance. So this person may push you away. You know, they it, this is self-sabotage here. Um, my life was black and white till you came in, added color. This is also frustrations as well. So again, this makes sense. Um, but I, I feel like this person is mad at themselves. I don't really get that they're mad at you necessarily, Gemini's, even though it may have seemed that way at first. Because, you know, at first they're going to be like, oh, damn, like I just I did this or I just said this and Gemini quit talking to me or Gemini cut me off for that. But now I feel like they're starting to see, yeah, I kind of deserved what's happening to me or what happened. So it's more so it's more so like, please tell me it's not over. Yeah, even if they're the ones that ended it, uh, Gemini's or said, you know, who was that I saw you with? <laughs> Even though they were the ones that were like, well, I'm not ready. You know, I'm not, I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to be single type shit. Gemini's and you know, you, you were probably like, okay, cool. All right. So now they're like, well, damn. <laughs> oh goodness. DFMU by Ella May. Love that song. I haven't seen that one in a while for you guys. Broken, <laughs> Broken Hearted by Brandy and Wanye. I'm getting super choked up. So I feel like, child, whatever they say, Gemini is going to be really hard for them. Really hard. Um, I feel like they, there's definitely some sadness here, especially with this card. The Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords. Um, it, oh, yeah, the bitterness, too. Yeah, I was getting that. I feel like they may have been bitter towards you at first, Gemini. Now I feel like they're more so mad at themselves um, for what happened. Everybody knows by John Legend. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I wish I accepted your love. Mm hmm. This person could also have, like I said, something financial going on with them as well that they weren't honest about. We spent lifetimes together. I told you there's something karmic between you and this person. I want to reach out, but I don't know what to say. I told you. See, that's why I keep getting choked up. <laughs> I told you, Gemini's. I miss being intimate with you. Well, then. All right, Gemini's. Let me pull some letters and then I'm going to wrap this on up. <laughs> Let y'all go on about y'all's day, honey. This is what we got. We got T, B, A, B again, F, M, E, N, Y, P, S, W. I'm gonna give a couple more. And then, again, y'all can screenshot that and see what letters you can get out of that. We got O and we got W again. Okay, let's see what numbers I see. I see 333. I see 444. 111. Okay. All right, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.